Hello there, my grade 6 learners. Are you ready for another day of fun and learning? I am teacher Mary Chris A. De La Cruz of Malinta Elementary School, your live streaming teacher for today. This is your Health 6 right here on Valenzuela FB Live. But before we start our lesson, please type in your name, section, and school in the comment box. Please be guided for the following reminders before we start. Number one, be on time. Set up early so that you're good and ready when our Valenzuela FB Live starts. Number two, be prepared. Having anything you need within reach like your module, notebook, and ball pen. Number three, be respectful. Listen and watch attentively. And number four, avoid unnecessary comment on the comment box. Before we proceed to our discussion today, I'm going to present to you the most essential learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to explain the importance of undergoing health appraisal procedures and regularly undergoes health appraisal procedures. Let's start the review. Press the yes button if the statement is true about personal health issues and concerns and press no button if the statement is false. Type your answer in the comment box. Ready? Start! Number 1. Dandruff is marked by flaking or drying of the skin on the scalp. Is it a yes button or no button? Exactly, it is yes. Number 2. Scoliosis is a medical condition in which a person's spine has a sideways curve. Is it a yes button or no button? Exactly, it is yes. Number 3. Underweight is generally due to extra body fat. Is it a yes button or no button? The answer is no. Number 4. Halitosis, also known as bad breath, is caused by certain foods, poor dental and oral hygiene. Is it a yes button? or no button. Exactly, it is yes. Number 5. Swimmer's ear happens when a water is trapped in the ears, which results a painful condition. Is it a yes button or no button? Exactly, it's yes. Did you get 5 out of 5? Give yourself thumbs up with a smile. Great job, kids! Hello, kids! Are you all ready to learn? Great! All set! Let's go! I have two friends, and their names are Altea and Adrian. They are studying at Malinta Elementary School. They are grade 6 pupils. They notice as they grow, there are changes taking place in their body. I told them that these changes occur during the puberty stage. Did you know that puberty starts at different times for different people? Girls begin puberty between 8 and 14 years old. Boys begin puberty between 9 and 15 years old. What are some physical changes for girls and boys? Some of these physical changes for girls during puberty are breasts develop, hips and waist become more defined, and menstruation begins. 
Here are some physical changes for boys. Vocal cords get thicker and longer. Muscles become stronger. And sweat and glands become more active. There are also physical changes that happen to both boys and girls. These are height and weight increase, body hair grows in the public area, and acne may develop. Girls, you should try to be comfortable with your body at this stage in your life. For boys, you should avoid comparing your bodies with other boys. And also, you should also try to be comfortable with your body. Look at the pictures. What does the picture all about? What are the steps and the procedures to appraise our health? Why is it important to undergo health appraisal procedures? How often do we need these health appraisal procedures? Health appraisal procedures refers to a series of procedures to assess or determine the health status of the students through the use of teachers' observation, screening tests, health histories or medical records, medical and dental inspections, and psychological tests. Health appraisal procedures should be done regularly for early detection of hurt problems of a person. These include the following procedures. Number one, height and weight measurement. It is used to calculate your body mass index or BMI, a measure of healthy versus unhealthy weight. Do you do this in your school? Absolutely, yes. Height and weight measurement helps track and monitor the health and growth of a child. This is usually done in school by your teacher. This is done at the beginning and towards the end of the school year. The baseline results serve as the basis to select children to be included in the school feeding program. The end line result will show if there are improvements in the health status of the children. Number two, breast self-examination. During the breast exam, a doctor or nurse practitioner will feel a woman's breast to check any lumps and bumps and see if there are changes. Self-examination is needed, especially at the age of puberty and onwards. This should be done once a month to familiarize yourself with how your breasts normally feel and to detect the breast problems or abnormalities that may occur. Number three. Hearing test. A hearing or geometric test is a part of an ear exam that tests how well a person is able to hear and it should be done regularly to find out if there are hearing problems that need treatment. Number four, vision screening is an efficient and cost-effective method to identify children with visual impairment or eye conditions that are likely to lead to vision loss so that a referral can be made to an appropriate eye care professional for further evaluation and treatment. Vision screening should be done once a year or as needed to avoid serious eye problems that may lead to loss of sight if not treated early. Do you know that there are ophthalmologists that visit your school to check the eyes of the pupils? The pupils are also given free eyeglasses if the vision is above 40. Number 5. Dental examination. This is done by the school dentist who will give information on proper dental hygiene and importance of the teeth. This should be done at least once a year to avoid serious dental health problems. Number six, 
scoliosis test. Scoliosis is a condition in which the spine curves to the side. It is abnormal lateral or side-to-side -side curvature of the spine. Using a scoliometer can help determine the severity of the curve. It is confirmed by taking x-ray of the entire spine looking front to back. Do you undergo these health appraisal procedures regularly? You must. Health appraisal procedures help us to be aware of our health condition. Early treatment or medication based on early diagnosis of the diseases would avoid serious illness in the future. It is important to undergo health appraisal procedures regularly to detect or find out health problems of an individual that needs appropriate medical treatment or attention. Remember, early detection is better than cure. Let us now check what you have learned today. Health appraisal refers to a series of procedures to assess or determine the health status of the students. These are height and weight, breast self-examination, hearing tests, vision screening, dental examination, and scoliosis tests. Oh, what time is it? It's activity time. Are you ready? Please comment down your answer. This is what you're going to do. Try this one. Can you guess the pic? Identify the picture that shows health appraisal procedures. Choose true if it shows health appraisal procedures. False if it does not. Number one. The correct answer is true. Number two. The correct answer is true. Number three. The correct answer is false. Number four. The correct answer is true. Number five. The correct answer is false. Let's have another activity. Fill me in. Fill in the missing letters in the box to come up with a complete word or phrase. Comment down your answer. I'll give you 5 seconds for each number to do that. Number 1. It is a series of procedures that assess or determine the health status of the student. The correct answer, health appraisal. Number two, it is an efficient and cost-effective method to identify children with visual impairment or eye conditions. The correct answer, vision screening. Number three, it is a part of an ear exam that tests how well a person is able to hear. The correct answer, hearing test. Number four, it is a simple screening test that can detect potential problem 
or an evenness of the spinal colon. The correct answer, scoliosis test. Number 5. It is an examination that doctor or nurse practitioner checks the woman's breast to check any lumps and bumps and see if there are changes since the last exam. The correct answer, breast self-examination. Did you get all the correct answer? Great job, kids. Give yourself thumbs up with a smile if you got the correct answers. For your assignment, in the graphic organizer below, write down the importance of health appraisal procedures. Did you enjoy our class? Well, my beloved learners, that's all for now. I hope you have learned a lot. This is Teacher Chris saying nothing looks as good as healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy life. Goodbye, everyone.